Hi guys, uh, so this is gonna be my first video. I figured it was something important, so I figured I should go ahead and probably make a video about this. I'm, there's probably a bunch of them out there already anyway, but this is why you should not reuse your flywheel bolts. <clears throat> so this is my stock clutch off of a Honda Civic Si K20Z3. You know, stock clutch, stock flywheel, nothing good. I went ahead and beefed the motor up to 12 and a half compression and everything. So stage one cams, a um, whole lot of bunch of stuff done to it. Ended up making 250 wheel horsepower. So I went ahead and I went with a stage one clutch from competition clutch, as well as a ultra lightweight flywheel. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I used the stock bolts. And as you can tell, the threads on them are all gone. Half of them are broke. Um, unfortunately, I've used flywheel bolts more than once before. Um, I didn't really think it was that big of a deal. And I used red Loctite on them and everything. So I was like, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Well, as you can see what it did to the flywheel, it completely ate it up. Um, the back of the crankshaft as well, so I've got another crankshaft. I'm actually picking that up today, and uh, I'm going to slap that in later on. Um, the flywheel bolts, of course, backed out. Ate the inside of the clutch up as well. Um, but in order to stop that from happening, let me see. Sorry about the shakiness. Now, I'm going to be running these. Um, I'm already running ARP rod bolts and ARP head studs inside the block. Um, it's Eagle Rods, um, JE Pistons. So ARP definitely makes great products, so that's a plus. So now I'll be installing those as well as a Stage 2 competition clutch and, of course, another ultra lightweight flywheel. Uh, if you don't know why you should use an ultra lightweight flywheel, on the K20Z3, the stock revs, I think, are at like 8,600. It cuts it off, but you can get there so much quicker. And this is a nine pound flywheel versus, I think it's like 20 pound stock or something like that. I mean, hell, you can tell the difference <clears throat> just by, you know, that versus that. I mean, two completely different <laughs> looking flywheels, so. I definitely recommend it if, if you're going to pull the engine out of the block and all that stuff. If you're going to pull the engine out of the car and you're going to be replacing the clutch or anything like that, go ahead and you know spend a couple extra bucks and get the flywheel. And of course, I would definitely recommend a competition clutch. Um, I figured it was my clutch that went out to begin with and I didn't realize my bolts broke. <laughs> but anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.